before I lose all want and desire to make this video, I'm going to make this video uh, with none other than my iPod Nano because I feel that I need to. This is going to effectively, effectively, effectively be a microphone test because I want to see how well it picks up the sounds of my car's engine. So, this is my 96 Corolla. It's blue and it's just a Corolla. It's got the 1.6 uh, 4AFE engine. It's got manual window, yeah, manual windows, manual locks, manual everything except for the transmission which is automatic. Thank you God. I can't drive a stick. So, if you were to carjack me on the side of the road, which I'm not telling you to do, I would more than likely have my car stolen. If you've seen reports in uh, past weeks, and even even in the past couple of years, people have been carjacking people, and these people that they're carjacking have manual transmissions, and they end up not carjacking them because they can't drive the damn car. And they either end up grinding the gears or uh, destroying the clutch plate, and that's just it. I can't, I can't drive a stick. The car that I was going to drive that had a stick in it was the Bronco. But the Bronco, like the caravan, are now sitting in the driveway. Well, the caravan's now sitting in the driveway. But that's because of some uh, other stuff that's wrong with that. Like a dead battery and the unwillingness to move. So, it would not start under its own power. So, there's something going on there. We're going to sell that for 500 bucks to somebody, I think. And then the Bronco's just sitting there, as it usually is. Um, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to start my car up. And I have the hood open. And you're going to hear from one side inside the car, and also outside there. Now, the reason I have my car door open while I'm doing this is to air it out, because it is 94 degrees out, and... 94 degrees is not a happy thing when you're inside a car. That's why people tell you you should wait before you uh, you should wait a couple minutes before you get into your car in the summer. This is exactly the reason I'm doing this to air out the car so that it's not as hot when I when I step in because already I'm starting to sweat a little bit and it's not happy. So let's get in. All right, we're in. Here is my key alongside my house keys and my little IBM Quarter Century Club little keychain thing that I got for free. All right, make sure the air conditioning's off. I'm gonna actually move, yeah, I'm gonna move that to there. AC's on. This has working AC. Amazingly, I have working AC. So, let's continue. Accessory, make sure to turn off the radio. Actually, you know what? I'm going to turn on the radio. Yes, yes. Why can't, why can't you get this? you got to play this song. It's, it's a dance song. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Now that it had the saxophone? <laughs> yeah. You can play it. They're using it for an advertisement. I'm, well, I'm going to find a way. Oh, thank you, boy. How are you? Everything okay? Yeah. This is 101.1. I listen to this on my way to work. Okay, well, then I'll, I'll jump in the pool and get a bunch of chlorine. I like the cold weather. I don't like Chlorine. Oh, what's he doing? Yeah. This go kid was a friend of mine. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's start this up. Ooh, I still have gas. You can see how many miles I have on here. 136,000, and I actually have to take this dash off. This is actually on the inside as well. I have to clean my uh, dash with some Windex and stuff, but it gets really hard sometimes because when it's really hot out like this, I can't do it because if I do it with Windex, it'll, it'll uh, fog over because of the ammonia. Ammonia and heat don't like each other, so you're supposed to do it when it's cool out. You're supposed to Windex it, and then you're supposed to wash it off afterwards with actual water, because the ammonia will make the plastic frost. I learned that uh, the hard way. <laughs> However, uh, Windex and ammonia on a windshield is good. Oh, and I have this crack here. I, I got a... I think that's when... No, it's not. I have a little crack there in my uh, windshield. You see it? I've got to get that fixed. Ooh, I gotta get that fixed. Right? Let's start it up. Ain't
ain't she a beauty? Idle's high because I have an EFI system. So you hear it, it's rising up. I don't have my foot on the gas or anything. It rises up as needed to bring the temperature up to uh, to the mid-range and then from there it drops down and it idles correctly down where it needs to. And I guess that's a feature of what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, and then I've got my usual shit. I've got the um, uh, that's for the back window, the defroster for the back window. The I don't think that my mirrors are that type. I think they're not. But they don't usually frost over with anything. I usually clean them up either way when I uh, get in here just to be safe with stuff. Uh, I have the, the, uh, the dome light up top turned off too. Because I had the door open so I just turned it off. Air conditioning does work though. You can hear the compressor kicking in. And amazingly, it is cold. It's cold as hell. And it has been cold as hell. For the now almost year that I've had this. Well, that I've been driving it at least. Now you can hear the fan up front just kicked in. So... I'm going to turn that off, and the AC button here cut, turns off, on and off, and if you take this out, because you're supposed to take this part out to get to the radio and everything, I already learned that the hard way, because my uh, lights here don't work, I had to replace the, the the light here, and I ended up cracking a piece of, uh, I've got it in here, there's a piece of plastic that's supposed to go from, from there, to there, it's supposed to go flip flip it around and the light is supposed to shine through and it ended up cracking on me just from uh, age when I took the light bulb out and the light bulb was really really dead so uh, I do have the replacement bulb for that though it's in my glove box but I have to figure out how to fix that without creating well more of bulk for it because I don't know how, what the dimensions are supposed to be for it to sit in there and probably the easiest way is going to be just some two-ton epoxy and yeah my uh, cup holders are a bit dirty I don't usually ever clean this area over here I do have some screws and stuff and a cigarette lighter that I never use but I leave it in the car someplace just because my mom will sometimes be in here and she'll want to smoke and I have to tell her open the window open the damn window and watch where she's dropping her ashes out I don't like it Thankfully, I don't smoke, and I never will, so I'm not going to get into that. Uh, but, and I do have to get some, fix some adhesive with some, like, double stick tape and stuff, because I do have a piece of tape here that's holding this piece on. And, yeah, I do have a laser. The laser does work. Yay. Maybe I'll just use that now and get out of the car here, because I am getting hot again, and I am sweating the, up, and it's not nice. Um, before I go on, my tape deck does work. I need to take this out, and I need to give it a good head cleaning. Just just from age. Nobody's ever cleaned the head in it, and it sounds horrible with my uh, tape adapter for my iPods. And whatever else the hell I decide to plug into there. I've plugged the laptop into here before. It sounds pretty good with the laptop. But the iPod, it just struggles to produce a, a clear sound, just because of, I guess, amplification. Either way, uh... And then I've also got to take some super glue to all the knobs so that I can actually use them without them falling off. Just take that off. Oh, lost my knob. Oh no. It's not something you say. Seven seven get Fios to No, not gonna get Fios. Forget Fios. And I guess something was supposed to go there. I'm gonna guess something with Oh, I don't know. I don't even know if I wanna know. So let's get to the front. Before I lose any more gas. Oh, my power steering does work. And 
it's just a safety thing in the window. You never know. Now it's starting to idle correctly. It's rumbling just a little bit. You can see this is rumbling just a little bit. i moving around. I don't know if that's just from it or what. You can even take a look at my coolant. Ooh. I have rusty coolant because of a rusty uh, coolant cap that was recently replaced. Woohoo. But. Sounds nice regardless. You can take a look down in here. This is where the, the laser pointer might come in handy. Take a look down in here. Right here. Where I'm pointing the laser at. Down in there. Right here. There is a pipe here. That's just right there. Let's see if I can get in more. So we can get the LED light to show in there. I can't. I should have brought the other one. But right in here, there is a small short pipe that burst on me after I was treated to a uh, a fluid flush and fill over at Jiffy Loop. And that was because the thermostat clogged up and pretty much ruined uh, any chance of ever fixing that. So what happened was the fuel, the, um, the, not the fuel system, the coolant system pressurized up and from there my uh, that, that little tube burst and dropped down all of my coolant down onto the engine. Half of it evaporated, half of it spilled out onto the street while I was driving around. And luckily for me, I was uh, on call to somebody's house for uh, just to fix their computer because their hard drive was dying. And you could just tell it boot up, it just was just so slow. So I said, you know what, it's not worth going up to uh, Micro Center and getting a new one because that's where I would go. I would go to Micro Center in this sort of a case. I decided, no, it's too far away for this. I'm just going to go up to Staples, have them pay the $100 for the one terabyte hard disk they have there in store, which, as anybody should know, is Seagate, and the Seagates that they sell there in the store, I'm not too happy with their performance. Uh, not too happy, not their performance, but just their reliability. I don't know if that's from being there in the brick and mortar store and they mishandled them or what, but I don't know. But this was an emergency. We needed the hard disk, and... My Walmart does not stock hard disks. So, we decided to go up there. We went up there. We uh, parked, went in, got the hard drive, came out. And then when we came back out, we go down, back down the street, back down to their house. They live about half a mile down. Halfway through, we go past uh, underneath one of the, the, t the bridges for the trains here. And... I notice, uh, looking down at my dash, that my car is overheating. It's all the way up at the H. And I'm like, what the hell's happening? So, from previous experiences with, uh, Big Bad Blue over here, I dropped the, uh, I, I, uh, dropped the AC off, uh, turned up the heat, blasted the, the blower fan, opened the windows, and I tried to get the heat down, the heat down through that method. And it didn't work. And it worked for about two minutes, and then it just rose right back up. So I obviously knew something was wrong. I took my time and stopped every so often to let it cool down while I was driving, and I got it to uh, my mechanic's house, which is where I was at. So we got it there. We got that back. And I said, that's it. I'm overheating. I, I shouted to him through the window. You got to come here. I'm, I'm overheating. My car is overheating. It's not... Uh, not cooling down. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, excuse me. So he comes out and he says, "Okay, I'll take a look at it. You go fix the hard disk." Yada yada. He doesn't know uh, that much about computers. He just uses it for solitaire, but the rest of his family uses it. Huh? Here comes the wind. So um, ended up uh, hard drive ended up taking a day and a half to uh, finally clone over with all the bad sectors that was able to finally read up off of. And, well, 
Long story short, that die that burst had to get a new one with two more pipe clamps over at uh not pipe clamps but tube clamps over at uh hose clamps over at AutoZone. Had to get uh, a pipe that was way too big for this and cut it down the size. We made it. And that was that. So I don't know at this point. So um Yeah. But you can see all the stuff. This you can tell it's a used car. It's got a hundred and thirty something. I got it with one thirty one and I've been driving it for five, six thousand miles now and this thing's been great. Um I mean, we just did the plugs and uh, wires back about, oh, I'd have to say it was two weeks ago. Oh, it was two weeks ago that the incident happened, too. I got the plugs and wires done first, and we went over and changed all the oil and stuff out. No, 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 no. It was, we did the, the, the fluids first, and then we changed the plugs and wires out, and that was it. And then I went to go see Man of Steel, and holy crap, that's a good movie. You have to go see it if you have not already. And if you are seeing this later on, when it has been released onto Blu-ray, DVD, and all of those other formats, and Netflix, and all that other crap, go and see it. It's a really good movie. Really, really good. And I'm not just saying that just to say it. I'm saying that is a spectacular reboot of Superman. Spectacular. Go and see it. Uh, I know the battery needs to get replaced on this. It's a junky AC Delco. Professional grade. I don't know what the hell is going on there with the uh, intake. Uh, I guess that's the intake scoop. Is that the intake scoop? Yeah, it goes around the battery and in. I do also have a new air filter in there. Other than that, it's idling pretty nicely. The bin is now off. It's not kicked back in. I guess there's two fans here. One for here and one over down this way, and I guess that's for uh, constraints with other uh, things that are up in front here, like uh, the horn and stuff. I think the horn works. I need to get some better uh, grease onto the. I need to clean that old grease off and put some new lithium grease on. A piece of junk, some of that is. And uh, this is the fun part. We got a vacuum hose routing diagram here. Even that says. No, that one doesn't say which one it is, but, yeah, this one over here does. It says the 4AFE, California OBD2 certified. This is a 96, so it has an OBD2 computer in it, which is good, because I can just take it straight over to AutoZone, and they can uh, check, my, check out my computer for free when I get the dummy light on. There we go. There's the fan. Okay. I need washer fluid. That's the other thing. Did they give... Oh, yeah, they gave me washer fluid. Thank you. I'm going to have to check my power steering fluid and everything. Oh, oh, such is life. All right. So, that's that for this. Uh, I chose some, uh, well, footage of the darn thing driving around, but I don't have, uh, well, I, I don't have someone here to film me going down the street and... Plus, it's just, uh, it's getting really bad out. You can see here, it's, uh, just starting to get dark out. The rain's coming. And this is something that was raining beforehand and all that stuff, so. Yeah. Not too happy. Alright, so I'm going to cut this short here and, uh, well, uh, maybe I'll do another video some other time. Alright, so. That's that. Leave a comment if you have any comments, and I will see you later, or you'll see me later. Bye-bye.